cardiac rehabilitation definition coordinated multifaceted interventions designed to optimize a cardiac patient's physical psychological and social functioning so that they may by their own efforts resume and maintain as normal a place as possible in the community goals of cardiac rehab curtail the pathophysiological and psychosocial effects of heart disease limit the risk of reinfarction or sudden death relieve cardiac symptoms retard or reverse atherosclerosis by instituting programs for exercise training education counseling and risk factor alteration reintegrate heart disease patients into successful functional status in their families and in society benefits of rehab program offset deleterious psychological physiological effects of bed rest during hospitalization enable patients to return to activities of daily living within the limits of imposed by their disease reduces cardiovascular and total mortality improves myocardial perfusion indications acute myocardial infarction coronary artery bypass grafting angioplasty with or without stenting valve replacement or repair heart transplantation surgery involving the great vessels congestive heart failure chronic stable angina pectoris acute myocardial infarction coronary artery bypass grafting angioplasty with or without stenting contraindications unstable angina uncontrolled arrhythmias or av block resting systolic blood pressure more than 200 mmhg resting diastolic blood pressure more than 100 mmhg recent embolism moderate to severe aortic stenosis acute systemic illness or fever orthopedic problems that would prohibit exercise poorly controlled hypertension patients unwilling to exercise core components patient assessment nutritional counseling weight management blood pressure management lipid management diabetes management tobacco cessation psychosocial management exercise training physical activity counseling reduction in risk factors blood lipids significant reductions of total cholesterol ldl cholesterol and triglycerides and increase in hdl cholesterol with training hypertension control regular exercise helps keep arteries elastic flexible this ensures good blood flow and normal blood pressure consistent long term exercise can result in at least 10 to 20 mm hg decrease in both resting and exercise blood pressure of hypertension glucose intolerance lower serum insulin level after training because of increase in insulin sensitivity at the cellular level decrease serum triglycerides and body fat levels cardiac rehabilitation program phase 1 duration 5 to 7 days components medical evaluation reassurance and education correction of cardiac misconception risk factor assessment early individualized mobilization discharge planning goals assessment of hemodynamic responses to self care and progressive ambulation activities determination of the activities effectiveness of the patient's medical conditions medications in controlling abnormal responses to activity establishment of clinical data that contribute to the patient's prognosis and thus to optimal medical management early behavior modification and risk factor reduction along with the family education day protocol coronary care unit stabilization self care evaluation monitored ambulation low level exercise test discharge step 1 passive range of motion active ankle exercises self feeding orientation to program step 2 same exercise legs dangling at the side of bed step 3 active assisted range of motion sitting in chair bedside commode more detailed explanation of the program light recreation assisted adl walking 
Step 4. Minimal resistance. Increase sitting time. Patient education. Light activities. Independent ADL. Walking. Step 5. Moderate resistance. Unlimited sitting. Sitting for meals. Seated ADL. Continued patient education. Step 6. Increase resistance. Walking to bathroom. Stairs. Standing. Aerial group meetings. Step 7. Increase exercise program. Review energy conservation and pacing techniques. Step 8. Increase exercise with light weight and increase walking distance. Increase craft activities. Discuss home exercise programs. Phase 2. Happy to be back home. Is the immediate post discharge phase duration 8th day to 6 weeks? Components addresses health education, exercise, stress management. Goals increases exercise capacity and endurance in a safe and progressive manner. Teach the patient to apply techniques of self monitoring to home activities. Relieve anxiety and depression. Increase patient's knowledge. Exercise program frequency 3 to 5 times a week. Intensity, RHR plus 20 beats per minute, RPE should be less than 11, METs 4. Time, 5 to 30 minutes, interspersed with rest periods and progress to about 30 minutes. Type, sitting or standing, functional activities, ROM exercises, walking. Phase 3. The patient has stabilized and requires ECG monitoring only if signs and symptoms necessi necessitate. Duration 6 weeks to 12 weeks begins with symptoms limited ETT. Result of this test are used to determine a target heart rate for exercise training. Goals improve and maintain physical fitness. Provide professional supervision for exercise. Continue with education and behavioral program. Types of training. Steady state training is a sustained activity where workload and HR are maintained at a constant sub-maximal intensity. Jogging, walking, stepping and cycling. Interval training. The exercise is followed by a rest interval. Is perceived to be less demanding than continuous. High intensity work can be achieved as there is appropriate spacing of work relief intervals circuit training employs a series of exercise activities at the end of the last activity the individual starts from the beginning and again moves through a series improves strength and endurance by stressing both the aerobic and anaerobic systems warm-up period to increase in muscle temperature increase need for oxygen dilation of previously constricted capillaries with increase in circulation decreases Susceptibility of the musculoskeletal system to injury by increasing flexibility. Exercise program. Frequency 3 to 4 times a week. Intensity 60 to 70 percent of maximal heart rate. 12 to 13 of resting pulse. 40 to 60 percent of VO2 max. Time 20 to 60 minutes. Inclusive of warm up and cool down type aerobic or endurance training cool down period prevent pooling of the blood in the extremities by continuing to use muscle to maintain venous return enhance recovery period with oxidation of metabolic waste and replacement of the energy stores phase 4 goals continued improvement and maintenance of fitness unsupervised exercise program self exercise long-term behavioral modifications exercise program frequency one session a day three to four days a week intensity 60 to 80 percent of vo2 max 70 to 85 percent of hrr rp is 12 to 15 time desired 30 to 60 minutes continuous workout type dancing hill walking resistance exercise